Yeah, he just... We will avenge your death on our war warriors. He just finished building this hurricane miracle, and... Feed the soul of our land with Greek blood! Ooh. So we're probably gonna get to see, before too long, what that hurricane looks like in action. Not something I'm really excited about, but if we can get our siren off, it won't matter. Because any people that get killed will be replaced. See how this, that nice fertile area is now all fields? I'm going to put some more fields down here, I think, as well. Just to make a nice big field zone. And then we have plenty of, plenty of space dedicated to farming already. And a good fertile areas, too. This zone will become a farming zone, too, if we need it. But down here, that's not enough. I'm not, I'm not gonna really bother. A migration is waiting at our borders for you to accept them. Get in here. Come worship my siren miracle. Oh, I don't want more than two people. Disciple breeder. Come here, you guys. Actually, making them breeders might <laughs> turn out better in the long run, but whatever. We'll go ahead and start them worshiping out. Disciple worshippers. The sooner we get a start on that, the sooner it'll turn out. All right, we need another storehouse. So I'm just gonna put it down here. God build it. I need you guys' opinion on how many people I should, or how much I should be showing as far as this cutscene. What? That doesn't make any sense. Dude, you're just like rambling and saying words that don't have like meaning. This is, this is obnoxious. This is not a video. That's not a sentence. This is not a sentence. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I need you guys' opinions on how much I should be leaving in these videos and how much I should be cutting out. Just because I, I can't tell. <laughs> I can put it right on top of that. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Get the freak out of here. <laughs> I just threw that guy's house in the ocean. It's kind of cool. Alright, so here's the basics of. Whoa. We have lost a catapult to this monster. <laughs> no big deal. He's got, yeah, he has seize engines, which I, I believe I mentioned, but no big. Okay, you what? Creature. You can just chillax, yo. Uh, th this is the basics of epic miracle defense. Essentially, you want to have an influence ring that's as large as possible so you can avoid enemy attacks from the rear. So you can see right now, there's nowhere he's going to be able to put this, the miracle unless he wants to put it out in the ocean. Uh, but he might put his hip hurricane right here, and it could destroy a lot of this, these houses and maybe these temples as well. Now uh, we could put it out in front and try to get our walls. Or you go back over here and take out some forests or whatever, but the main thing is that he's not going to get the fields, this creature's pen, the miracle, you know, he's, I got that like, basically the town center and the important parts are all protected because they're so far inside our influence ring. It's a pretty, pretty nice little advantage to have. So when he fires his hurricane off, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. And if you have any disciple builders that are standing around in your town, it'll give them a purpose because they'll have buildings to repair. I'm building these houses with some space in between them because you get more impressiveness that way, and also because it's going to make our influence ring expand larger. We're just going to, again, it's for defense against epic miracles. The larger our influence ring is, and the further our buildings are inside it, the further they'll be from any epic miracle our enemy decides to fire at us. And it's good to have lots of housing for your people. A surplus of housing is, is never a bad thing. As long as you don't have so many houses that it's decreasing your city's impressiveness. That's the only thing I would recommend you avoid. Since they want it, I'll give them one. We have enough ore, it seems. Yeah, we have 3,000 ore. That'll be enough to build those. I'm probably going to throw down another temple before too long out here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Did we ever finish that second temple? We didn't. We should finish that one first. I'm going to god build because my people don't seem to be very interested. Wow, it still needs over a thousand. They hadn't put any ore into it, had they? We'll get it back. We'll get it back when we get those ore rocks over there, so... Well, that wasn't even, like, 300. You gotta grab more than that, man. Go on, finish it off. Oh, it needs, like, 80. That's obnoxious. There we go. Creatures out there killing soldiers. He's having fun. We will avenge your death on our war warriors. I am tempted to build him another creature fan out there. Seems to be aware of the teachings of war. How can this be? How has this altar still not been built? This is crazy. I'm just gonna build it. Rather, it takes like one tree. There, now it's done. Is it so hard, guys? And now they're gonna start moaning about needing more mana. No, you don't need more mana. We don't need that. But I won't do that. Right, can I fit this thing anywhere out here? 
I might, need to, I might need to make an influence bubble in order to be able to fit it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build my houses in sort of a semicircle. And it's going to make the influence rings sort of jump out to the side. You'll see what I mean when we get when it happens. I will cut back in. Okay, so I just built four or five houses curling around in a semicircle like that, and now we have plenty of room inside the influence ring to put a temple down. If I could get it to go out here, though, that would be even better. <laughs> would give us a bigger expansion. But whatever, it's no big deal. We'll just throw it down right there and let the people build it as they as they please. As you can see, this is now getting a nice bubble going, so if we can get this to expand even farther out, I would be quite happy. So making, it, making a housing district that goes out this way, that might not be a bad idea either. So we can cause our influence ring to enlarge. That's going to keep our people safe. Deep down inside our influence ring. So watch what happens when this house goes down. You see, it's just continuing to expand. I don't know if he's ever going to get that hurricane off, but I've had him use it on me in the past, and uh, I've played city building tactics that playthrough, so I'm expecting him to, to get us with it eventually, but I think we'll be ready. Huh, the enemy crumbles under our strength. We shall drive them out soon. What is he even talking about? We are not crumbling... There's no crumbling strength here. In fact, I'm just gonna let the people build some stuff while we're going here. Let them breed a little bit. I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna do a silver scroll if I can. Click on this town over here. This town is diseased. There must be something we can do. Clear the foulness away with your hand, and people will be able to migrate to your town if you impress them enough. Ooh, sounds good to me. So how do I do that? Wave my hand over him like this? Do I use hand forcing? Oh wait, that got rid of it, didn't I? Was it just the waving, or was it holding down the mouse? Looks like it's just the waving, okay. Let's see if I can get a bunch of people at once up here. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, huh, wow, okay. I don't know if, I, if it's holding down the mouse button, or if it's actually clicking it and doing it that's, that's working, but... I'm essentially just scrubbing these people until they're healthy. Be healthy! Get better! <laughs> this is like a really well-intentioned get well soon card. It's like, get well soon, I'm waving my arms at you. This is this is killer on my mouse. My mouse, I can tell, is not liking this repetitive scraping motion. Alright, who's still sick? Where's the sick bastard who's not well? Is that everybody? Oh, no, there's still this guy. I think as people move around, they actually infect those around them, so that's what makes this a little bit trickier. So if you miss one Excellent person, ah, there we go. Job. Now build up your impressiveness to get them to migrate. No, send in an army and take the town by force. Oh, that old predicament. What should we do? Yay, cure the sick town. I'm surprised we don't have enough impressiveness to go ahead and take that town. Oh, there's an archaeologist thing over here. Oh, and there's another, oh, another search and find. Well, I avenge your death, honorable warriors. I almost forgot about that. Their beast seems to be aware. Put a little kid in the altar. What a senseless waste of human life. So much evil. Wow. <laughs> what do they want here? Mana. They need mana. They need to breed too. Are those mine workers doing anything anymore? I think that mine's probably dry. Yeah, let's grab any mine workers that we've got. Anybody we see with a silver ring around them. Make them breeders or something else. Something useful. No, don't use that building. Breeders. There we go. Disciple breeders. <sighs> I have been too patient. Send the armies out and we claim our land. Oh, it was this town we took, huh? I guess we're almost. Unleash the fury of the winds. Fire the hurricane epic. Oh, hell no. No, you don't. I'm going to save and I'm going to stop recording. Yeah. In the next episode of Let's Play Black and White 2, we are going to try to withstand the Hurricane Epic Miracle. I think we'll do alright, but we'll see you next time. Or not. What's up, my pilots? We are back playing this amazing, amazing game, Black and White 2. And in this episode, we have to withstand the horrors of the Hurricane Miracle. I find it hilarious that this music plays 
it, it, the music that plays sounds so much like the music that plays in the Wizard of Oz when Dorothy gets sucked up into the uh, <laughs> gets sucked into Oz, basically. But as you can see, it sweeps through your town, sucks up buildings, sucks up trees, people as well. I don't know if it actually sucks up people. I don't see any people in the maelstrom. Oh wait, maybe there are some in there. But yeah, basically it takes a swirly path through your town and then plays some really loud music. And when it's done, it's gonna just uh, drop all that crap off wherever it finishes. So you'll have all this debris laying around for a while. Not a whole lot you can do with it. You end up destroying your walls. Sometimes you'll get little pebbles and crap like this falling all over the place. You know, who knows? Uh, I'm gonna take a look and see how many of our people died from that. Yeah, you see, we've lost a, lo a lot of people due to that miracle. That's a, that's a bad thing. A very bad thing. So, essentially now, we need to recuperate. And the best way to do that is to build some breeders. You see people falling out of the sky and dying. Yeah, that's that's the hurricane. Are there any other people over there? No, okay. Well, some of them need to be builders, so we can get these buildings Decide back together. Builders. And the rest of them just need to go straight back into breeding, because Disciple. we need to have a lot of people in our town in order to be able to stand up to the heirs, the uh, enemies here. Well, the siren seems to be okay, and none of the worshippers from it got sucked up. That's good, because when we fire that thing off, it's going to help ensure our victory. And I'm going to put the creature pen... Uh, actually, you know, maybe we can just put it outside now. This is a good opportunity for us to move it, I believe. Because it'd be good for the creature to be able to sleep outside the wall. Doesn't look like they're gonna let me put it out here. That's frustrating, but I feel like it should fit right there. I guess it's just too much of a hill. Too sloped, I suppose. No big deal. Um, we'll just put it back right where, where it was, yeah. And we should have a, a, a good amount of resources left. I, I'm not sure if they sucked the resources out of that, or if... Yeah, you see our food. Wow, our food's dwindling really quickly. Did you see that just then? Now all the food from the storehouse just suddenly sucked away. I think it's because all our farmers are dead. Our people are still eating, of course. So we may have to feed them by hand for a little while. And why are they asking for another armory? Is this one not done? Oh yeah, it needs 50 wood. Yeah, a lot of buildings are just going to need a little bit of repair. So what you can do is grab wood from your storehouse and just fix them up yourself. And they'll become usable again. Oops, well, that doesn't need any work, does it? Okay, well, anything else that's damaged around here? Anything that we can see that's visibly messed up? Some houses. There we go. You can fix those yourself. You're not, I don't think you actually get a decrease in impressiveness for having messed up buildings. Uh, unless the buildings are so destroyed... Well, wait, it says ore needed, but I'm fixing it with wood. Not sure what's going on there. Let's continue hovering. Does it really need 1500 ore to be fixed? That's annoying. We don't have that much extra ore. We're being attacked, by the way. The creature can handle it. We've trained him to love attacking enemy platoons, so... Shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> That's what one ore looks like, huh? Okay. Well, we're gonna need to do something to get some more ore. There's a few ore rocks back here I think we might be able to snatch. Yeah, there's one. And I know god building... What the hell? I think I just put it on the construction site. Oh well. I wanted to actually use it. Oh, the sparkling is gone. Is that the last ore rock? Well, that's a bummer. Because we're going to be damn short on ore now. Oh well. They want another siren? Is this one damaged? That doesn't look like it. We will avenge your death, honorable warriors. Good work, creature. Their beast seems to be aware of the teachings of war. How can this be? Who knows? Probably because he's not aware of the teachings of war. So, as you see, it didn't do a whole lot of damage to our town. There's no, like, major structural issues. The fields aren't burned up. The majority of the buildings are perfectly fine. We killed a lot of people, and that's, that's, that's the real problem, is that it killed a lot of villagers, and that's gonna really impede our progress for a while. Because now we have to... We basically have a, a town that has way... lots of extra houses. Not a whole lot of people living there. So... What can you do, right? Disciple we'll bounce back pretty quickly, I think. Let's take a look at our tribute purchases. How much how much gold have we got? Uh, 800,000. We're doing well. Almost up to a million. Almost up to that big purchase. 
So let's see. Only attack under cover of darkness. That one, meh, not an issue. We are probably gonna lose that one one way or the other, so no issue. Metropolis, Metropolis status. That's gonna be a lot harder now that we lost those people, but we'll get there eventually, even if I have to stay after I win the land. Take over three towns by force. We'll do that later. Level of platoon rank six. We're not gonna try doing that. The shield miracle. We only get three thousand for that. I'm not gonna bother spending the money on the shield miracle just to get that. So that one we're not gonna do yet. Uh, some of them we're not gonna do at all. The creature killing ten platoons. He'll get that. He'll get that on his own. Let's see. 3,000 wood. He'll pick that one up without a whole lot of trouble. He only needs like one tree <laughs> to finish it. Winning three creature fights. That's a tricky one. That one we might have to actually send him out to go fight the creature. Of course we're going to have to. I don't think that they're going to send their creature to our town. Hey, there's the enemy creature. This may be a good opportunity to give him a chance to, to win a fight. It doesn't matter how many times he loses, as long as he wins three times. So you basically can go in and weaken the enemy creature. And whoops. Oh, can I uh, can I get the creature please? Fight him. Thank you. But it was it's easiest if you can bring him back to where you are. Yeah, they're unaware of he's unaware of our approach at this point. I'm not sure if they're going to shut the gate on him. They are. Okay, he's just gonna go around then. Actually, they'll probably shut the gate on him wherever he goes. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll have to just wait until our, his creature comes to get us. Which I believe happens eventually. I'm pretty sure. I'm not totally sure, but I, I, I'd bet on it that they're eventually going to send their creature to fight us. Why does this need ore too? Oh god, that sucks. We don't have enough ore to fix all of these things. 821. How much have we got in the storehouse? Yep, we don't even have enough ore to finish it off. We're going to have to do something about this. Is there a town that has a mine? We could go take over and then mine the mine. Here we go. Well, there's plenty of ore here. Okay. That town hasn't been... Hasn't had a whole lot going on. I suppose we could send a platoon there and take over that town. But we don't really have a whole lot of soldiers, and we don't have a whole lot of people to draw from either. If we can get the siren to fire, that will, that will give us a distinct advantage because we'll get those people back, and he'll lose the people. Alright, let's suck some people up and start worshipping. It's basically our last great hope right now, is to fire off that siren, get maybe a hundred people added to the town, put them into the army, we can send them over to get some ore, I mean, we do whatever we like with it basically at that point. I'm gonna put 50 more people on the siren, Disciple so worshipers. more than half of our town, or maybe about Disciple half of the town now, worshipers. is worshipping the siren. Disciple worshipers. Not a bad way to go about it, Disciple but we are worshipers. kind of putting all our eggs in one basket. Per se, Disciple I don't worshiper. think it's really fair because the enemy. It is time to make our stand, warriors. This day, you fight for honor. The enemy and for our lives. Shut up, dude. The enemy doesn't Attack. seem. Oh, would you just freaking shut your mouth? The enemy doesn't have seem to have to have people worshiping his miracle. As you can see, there's nobody here. Like, where are his people anyway? Like, where are all his citizens? You can see his soldiers. There's a villager. So you can see his villagers, they wander around, they do their own thing, you know? What I want to know is, where the hell are those people who are supposed to be worshipping the, the hurricane? That, that's a huge advantage that the, the AI is given for free in this game. They get to have a siren, or whatever miracle they have, that charges up on its own, and they don't have to have people worshipping it. Which is just, in my opinion, is, is bullshit. <laughs> because that's a, big, that's a big disadvantage when you have to put half of your people in your town Worshipping a miracle, that puts you at a distinct disadvantage. Okay, it's times like this where I think that having a higher birth rate might actually be worth it. We don't have anything to do. We can't do anything that involves ore. But I believe that it may be in our best interest to purchase a nursery. Because it only takes wood to build, and it gives our people an increase in birth rate. So let's see. Let's look at our people. I want to make sure I can buy the... How much are we going to get for winning the land? That's all I need to really look at here. Get uh, 150,000? Okay. Well, that means that that'll put us at 25,000 over. Okay, I should be able to still buy the, the other things I want before we leave the land. Okay, so now they're going to want nurseries. Now, I suppose it's time we introduce these anyway, because they're... Children are the future and need to be looked after. Exactly. That's exactly right, my friend. 
And having these nurseries is going to greatly increase the birth rate of the adjacent houses. Just the houses. You don't need to put nurseries near any industrial buildings or anything like that. Let's see if we can't sneak one back in here. Because it would get a good number of houses if it would fit. It doesn't matter which way it's facing. Maybe we can... Oh wait, it'll fit right there, won't it? Okay, we'll bring the road around to it. I shall spare those in the nursery. We are not monsters after all. Oh, well that's nice of you. It's good that they're not going to kill our women and children. Well, at least the children part. They might still kill our women. <sighs> hey, look at that. And it gives you a nice little influence during bonus, too, so enjoy that. It might actually not be a bad idea to, you know, use an, a nursery or two to expand your town's influence and then build around it. Hello. We will avenge your death, honorable warriors. Okay, cool. Their could... beast seems to be aware. <laughs> you keep of saying the, the same things. War. How can this be? He's not aware of the teachings of war. He doesn't have a freaking clue. <laughs> doesn't have a freaking clue. 